I started filming this morning to show you guys around. I, I started filming the entrance and uh, was gonna show the garden and uh, the chicken, some of the other things, and it started raining and I didn't want it to mess up the camera. So we're gonna put a pause on it for now, but I'm, I'm on that. I wanna get that done soon. Cause I want you to see where I'm at. I think it's a pretty cool place. In the meantime, I wanna thank all my new patrons and thank my existing patrons. You guys really helped me a lot. I've been uh, demonetized by YouTube lately. I don't know what it is, but uh, maybe people don't want to put ads up as much as usual. It doesn't really even matter what my content is. So thanks for being a patron. If you would consider becoming a patron, you can do so with a dollar a month, five bucks a month. It really doesn't matter the amount. Just uh, anything helps me out to afford things like I've got some new uh, camera equipment coming that I can film on the motorcycle doing stuff like the video I did in Flagstaff with a really shaky camera work uh, I'm working on fixing that because there's a lot to see out here and I like the camera to be smooth and so I got that stuff coming it all has costs involved so the bottom line is if you see value in the channel maybe I helped you out with a solar installation maybe a fan installation maybe you got some work done at the van build and you wanted to contribute but you didn't know how or weren't able to at the time do consider becoming a patron it makes a big difference for me and so I just want to thank everybody who's done that and uh, ask you to consider that if uh, you see value in what I'm doing. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little throwback to a video that I shot with uh, Rob. He's got a, a van that's four wheel drive. It's off grid, solar, all set to go. It's been down to Baja, so it's Baja, Mexico tested and proven. And uh, he and Brenda have decided, you know, they just got started. They were at the van build for their first outing just in November. And after some traveling around, they decided they're gonna need more room. So they're looking at uh, different vehicles that they can build on to get that for them. So they're putting theirs up for sale. He spared no expense when he set that thing up. He thought he was gonna have it forever. Let's go take a look at it right now. Hey, what's happening? I'm out here in the forest in Flagstaff, the Ponderosa Pines with Robert and his wife. We're all about to disperse and scatter to the wind, but before we did, I wanted you to have a look at his van to maybe give you some ideas on what you could do with your own vehicle. If you're thinking about what kind of vehicle you're gonna use as a platform for travel, this'll uh, be something that is one prototype to get you back deep in the woods. It gets you more secluded. It gets you out on the beaches in Baja, even in soft sand. It's got 33 inch tires. And so here's, here's a, uh, an example of what you could do with this much space. But also, uh, Robert has decided that after traveling in this for several months, he'd like to perhaps look into getting some more room for he and his wife and his cat. And so they're very possibly going to be going to upgrade. And that means that this thing very well could be for sale. And if that's the case, it's a chance for you to jump on something that's been built from bumper to bumper the right way for off-road travel and with that i'm gonna hand it over to robert and let him uh kind of give us the tour how you doing man good thank you jamie yep. appreciate it yep it's a 1990 ford van e250 with e350 rear springs it presently has 73,000 miles that's always gonna grow a little bit as we are traveling in it and still enjoying it it is a quigley conversion van to full wheel drive it has a 351 gas motor it's all the valve cover gaskets, tune up, everything's been done. The engine air condition, the van air condition has been totally redone with all new rubber hoses. The uh, drivetrain is in perfect condition. It had a slight transmission leak. So the transmission was pulled, freshly rebuilt, rear main seal on the motor replaced. Uh, belts, hoses have all been done. The gearing has been changed in the van to handle the 33s, handle off-road. The gears are 456s, front and rear, and uh, they're nitro gears. Everything, the bearings are all that's been done. Uh, all new brakes, front and rear, uh, calipers, brake lines. Uh, attention to detail, we spent four months in Mexico down in Baja, and we weren't having breakdowns in Baja. That was the whole point. We had minor issues. We replaced the fuel pump in Baja. We replaced uh, 
starter in Baja and the engine battery in Baja. So those are the three newest uh, components on the van. Everything else on the van has pretty much been gone through. The van has 400 watts of Renogy Solar, four six volt golf cart batteries, all the bumpers, all the rack, windows, new stereo system to include outside speakers that are turned on and off controllable. Uh, the van has a shower, the van has a toilet, the van has a refrigerator freezer. Oh, it's uh, pretty well decked out, LEDs. There is a 1500 watt inverter that is not presently hooked up. We, don't, we found we don't need 110 in the van. We do everything on 12 volt. Uh, it holds 30 gallons of water. There is a propane Camp Chef stove, oven to burn a combination. There is a brand new water heater RV style for a camper. We hold 30 gallons of water. We have the RV on demand water pump. Uh, like I said, we have a full size shower. We call it the bathroom. It's a toilet combo black tank. And talk about your heater. Oh, we have a diesel burn heater. So from the bed, there is a remote, but I never did get the batteries. So from the bed, you can touch the button on the heater and start it up and it has a diesel burn heater. It is mounted under the driver's seat. The passenger suite has, a, uh, everything's custom built. You don't just go buy swivels for a, a 1990 Ford van. So the passenger seat swivels. There is a table between the two chairs. We kind of call it our dining room. How many BTUs does that heater put out? I think it's 7,000. 7,000 BTUs, and for a size of a van, that's quite a bit. It'll heat up pretty fast. It'll run you out if you leave it on too long. One we of the things I want to point out about the customization on this van is Robert lives in Mississippi, and he didn't go buy a van off of Craigslist and then go see a mechanic about welding up bumpers and redoing the transmission. He's lived there with mechanics and welders for years and so his friend that's the welder did the welding and did it right there was a lot of conscientious doing it right going into this and so it's not the same as if you just went out and looked up in the yellow pages somebody to do this or somebody to do that the people that did the work on this vehicle were people that he's known for years and trusted for years and they're going to shoot him straight and that's the kind of van that you're getting why don't we uh stop with the jibber jabber and show them all the stuff let's do it all right I'm gonna just get behind the camera. We have a pink alien. <laughs> let, me, let me take care of the pink alien before we get too far. Hey, Zuzu, tell them all, hey. All right. So the stereo system, LED map light, all runs off of the house bank batteries and solar system. And you can run it all the time, has no problems. We've done a few small additions, just some extra USB ports, extra little lighting, map light. These don't look like original seats either. These are original seats. Oh, they are? Yeah, it's only, like I said, 73,064 miles. And what kind of engine is it? It's a 351. And that's made by Ford. Ford 351, original motor. Nothing's been done other than the transmission and minor maintenance to the motor as far as valve cover gaskets, spark plug wires, spark plugs, just your general tune-up. Let's take a look at more inside. Got the winter refrigerator in it with the split freezer refrigerator chambers. Big enough bed for two people, but it's not so big that it's encroaching on too much of the space of the van. Lots of storage on top. Guys, I know the lighting's not great on this. There we go. Lots of storage on top. Lots of storage alongside. I'm standing up in this. I could, I'm 5'10", but I could be taller and still stand up in it. it has a sink. More storage space more storage space and he's got the camp chef stove which is the one i have and really like and it looks like they've removed the cover off of it which is fine i took some stuff off of mine too to make it fit my needs a little bit better more storage kind of a boat style 
Robert and Brenda came from uh, sailing the Great Loop and spending time on boats, and so a lot of the build is influenced from those experiences, such as the fact that it doesn't have a inverter. A lot of sailboats, they don't, they're not big on inverters. They're just big on making everything that they have 12 volt. And that's how this uh, van was uh, inspired. Got your TV, more storage, and there aren't that many showers this size you'll see in a van this size. If you'd notice, it's all one piece of wood shaping it. It's a wet bath that doubles as a bathroom. It's got a, a black water tank and a gray water tank, so you don't uh, have a cassette with this. And plenty of room to shower. Got your valves. What are you doing to heat your water when you take a shower? We have a propane water heater for a camper. It's mounted in the back side. We'll show you that. Is it an instant hot? No, it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a regular camper propane water heater. If you have a problem, they're replaceable, and it is brand new. Trailer with a Suzuki Samurai on it that uh, has been upfitted for better suspension and bigger tires. Did you, did you say you'd sell the Samurai and the trailer if somebody wanted it? If you really want it, you can have it. Okay. More storage on the outside. You can see there's a couple of ladders. Let me come around where you can see them better. There's a couple of ladders and this red tank that's permanently mounted to the side is the fuel for the the diesel heater which is under the driver's seat and it's just got a fuel line that taps into it when you get the diesel heater you get the kit for that I'm not going to be tall enough for the solar but there's solar up there that's flush with the frame custom bumper on the back what else would you like to say about it custom winch bumper on the front Oh, it's got, got a winch on the front. There's a 9,500-pound smitty-built winch on the front. This is the propane locker. Plus storage for the jack. We keep a small air compressor, a few other knickknacks. So plenty of storage. Lights, I see you've got lights up there. To LED lights all around. All the way around to light up the sky. If you're concerned about camping out in the middle of nowhere and you want to lighten up the area for whatever reason, you can do that. You've got cameras, surveillance cameras? Front and rear. Front and rear surveillance cameras. Front and rear surveillance cameras. The, the tires look like they're in pretty good shape. Let's show the tires. All brand new tires, 33s, Iron Man. What you're getting, if you want to, if you want to pick this tr uh, van up, is you're getting what Rob spared no expense to build, and then six months later decided he wanted something bigger. <laughs> so it's it's just getting broken in. Yeah, and if you knew me, I kind of change vehicles quite often. Anything else you'd like to add? We'll wrap it up. I think that's about it. Everything's been. Built tough, built to go off road. The rack system is pretty elaborate. There's a little bit of storage up on the roof. Fantastic fan. Everything was built for uh, convenience with the rack to get up on with the double ladders to clean the solar panels. Uh, we carry brushes for it. All that can go with the van. It can pretty much go any way you want it, as much as you want or as little as you want. How do people reach you if they're interested? The easiest way is direct message on Instagram. 1994 by 4 that's 4 x 4 van man so one more time 1994 by 4 van man direct message me we can discuss a price i have no problem with uh somebody making an offer shoot me an offer who knows all right man well thank you for giving us a tour thank and, you jamie uh, it's been fun camping with you appreciate it brother I had a great time thank you <laughs> all right see you guys